He's All right, a animal. fan came at Kobe and said if Kobe Bryant was on the Heat Cavs instead of King James the past six years, he would have zero rings. Context is everything. Kobe responded by saying we had to face the Spurs every postseason pretty much. Every, pretty much. Anyway, Except um, two not to mention out, the first sons. super team <laughs> in Boston. But hey, what do I know? So this is so, first of all, Scotty, what do you think about the fact that Kobe's going at people on Twitter over this? Uh, small talk. He ain't got nothing else to do, so I'm sure he just kind of, you <laughs> Well, you know, feel like all the details are done, yeah. he's done for the season, yeah, all of that summer stuff. Detail or something. I don't know. I mean, look, this is there's a whole bunch of stuff to unpack here. This started, obviously, with the fact that Kobe talked to Bleacher Report about, you know, what LeBron needs to do and where his legacy stands. And he basically threw out the rings, right? That, like, every other person, there was a bunch of other NBA luminaries quoted in that article, and every other person said, oh, what he's done is so impressive, nine finals, eight times straight, he hasn't had the teams, he hasn't been favored in seven of his nine finals, so of course he has a losing record, whatever. Kobe was like, yeah, it's about the rings. you got to do whatever you can to win championships. Uh, what do you think about all this? You know what, Kobe is the ultimate competitor. He's basically saying, hey, Dig a little deeper, shoot a little more, uh, you know, go out there and empty all your, your, your bullets, you know. Don't go home with any bullets left in your game. And he probably felt like LeBron didn't shoot the ball enough. And I can believe that Kobe I, thought I, LeBron I, didn't I, shoot the I ball I would enough. agree. I would say Kobe's ultimate competitor, and that's what he's doing right now. He's competing on Twitter. He's competing. <laughs> Well, with, in, in the article, too, right, that, that he's basically trying to reset the discussion. And we've seen him do this a couple times this spring when the whole MJ-LeBron debate was sort of whipped up into the most frenzy, I don't know, when LeBron was during the Boston series and yeah. doing all those crazy things with the Raptors series. Kobe comes out with the IG, Kobe. right, being like, hey, don't worry, LeBron, Michael Jordan, myself, Me, like, right? <laughs> and then he put, like, how many rings each guy had gotten, six, oh. five, three, and he's like, it's all, we're all winners, yeah. which is sort of, that's not what anyone was no, debating. No, nobody bought you. I mean, at the end of the day, the conversation should be really about Kobe and LeBron. Uh, both guys came out of high school, uh, both ultimate competitors. Both guys had to lead their, their teams in the finals and, you know, how they, they wreck a pan out. I don't think the comparison with Michael and Le LeBron is even fair because you, you, you're talking about a guy who had college experience, who mm -hmm. won a championship. Who had Scotty Pippen. In college. And, yeah. you know, he, he was able to get to the finals numerous amount of times with myself. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like he was restart, uh, like LeBron. LeBron has had to restart. Kobe has had some of those moments where he's had to restart with different groups going mm -hmm. to the finals. So those are more the comparison that I would rather speak on than Kobe and Michael. Yeah. And they played, I mean, they, and they yeah. played in the same era. Exactly. Right? Right. It's, a, it's hard to compare Michael and LeBron because get, basketball is just so different than at least with those two guys, Kobe yes. and LeBron, they played in the same era. I do think it's interesting, though, that we are seeing, and I think your point is exactly right, we are seeing competitiveness from Kobe yeah. this spring about sort of defending and protecting his legacy and all of that. This is going to be interesting this summer because guess who is one of the major teams wooing LeBron James? The, the Lakers, oh, Lakers. <laughs> with Kobe's old agent leading yeah, the leading, charge. Yep. Wow. If LeBron comes to the Lakers, I don't know how that affects how Kobe feels about LeBron on his team and all that. It's interesting. I don't know. It's interesting. I want to be fair. One, one quick thing. This isn't a Kobe thing. Every retired player. It's not. Ha they all have. You all, you guys, you can't turn it off. You all have uh, uh, that. I'm, all way, I'm just listening. Even if, it, <laughs> even if it is a Kobe thing, it's not like we didn't know Kobe's competitive. Yeah. Right. No, I'm just saying like the whole like, don't forget about. Don't forget about did. me.